being in a senior role at the university reminds me somewhat of carrying the Olympic torch in the lead up to the Olympics. People carry the torch for a certain time. They do their best, then they pass it on to, the, to a successor. And their successor does his or her best and passes it on to a successor again. And so many things that the university that does take perhaps a decade or two or three to implement. Uh, for example, I was very proud of the fact that uh, we introduced a medical degree at Charles Darwin University, but that started well before my time with uh, Flinders University introducing medical centres at Alice Springs and Catherine and Darwin. And, and then those centres grew into the idea of having a medical school. And uh, I had the idea of getting the Chancellor of Darwin University on this council to build closer relationships. I'd retired before the first doctor graduated because it was a four year course, but we're now graduating doctors. But that took place over quite a while. I left school at 16 and edu educated myself basically part time. And then uh, when I moved from the coal gas industry to the oil industry, I had to re-educate myself, moving from the oil industry into building materials and construction. I had to do a lot of study. And when I took on the role of administrator of the City Council of Sydney, I had to do, it was a quick learning experience there too. So I've always been uh, re recognised the importance of education. And uh, that's one of the reasons I enjoyed being involved with the university. I can't recall over the eight years I was Chancellor apart from one occasion when we were going to increase the student fees and the students voted against that because it was obviously their constituency that they had to relate to. But almost every other decision the University of Council arrived at was arrived at unanimously. Flinders had an engineering school. It wasn't, ex it wasn't ex expanding. It was in fact perhaps declining. And the management of the university put to council that it be closed down. I was disappointed at that recommendation, but I've been around long enough to know that a board of directors, which is what a council is, can't push something forward if the management of the organisation aren't fully supportive of it. So we reluctantly decided that the engineering school would close down. And then the management changed and we were able to point out to the incoming management that there was a, an opportunity in engineering. So it was reactivated and today it's performing very well indeed. It's growing and expanding. When, when I was young, a diploma course in engineering was recognised as, as equivalent to a degree. Sydney University gave me an honorary doctorate in engineering and uh, so have University of South Australia and so have Flinders. But uh, I attended university to do physics and chemistry at the Adelaide University when I was doing a diploma course, but um, I have not got a university degree.